What's up guys? Welcome to my channel. If you're here for the first time, I'd say hi. My name is Frances Michelle. So happy that you guys are in today's video. So if you clicked on this video, you already know what this video is all about. It is my first impressions, thought, demo, review, side comparison to, of course, the new Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation. So this foundation hit the stores on Sunday, August 4th, if I'm not mistaken. And there has been a many, 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 many reviews already on YouTube and... I have my little one messing with my light, so sorry about that, guys. I have a new, I have a nine-month baby, and if I have, if I want to record, I either have to have them on my lap or have them here in my room. <laughs> Anyways, guys, so since this foundation came out, there has been many mixed reviews saying, "Do not waste your money. It is awesome. You need to have it." And of course, as a beauty junkie and as a beauty and makeup enthusiast, I am going to, of course, try to grab and re and review the latest makeup out there and honestly speaking i had to so without further ado let's go ahead and jump into this video but before we do i'm going to ask you to please consider subscribing to my channel turning on your notification bell and following me along on instagram it's francis 2 sschelle that is where you'll find your girl so without further ado let's go ahead and jump with the review first impression slash demo slash comparison <laughs> let's go ahead and start all right guys so let's dive into this um review so what we're going to be doing i'm going to be telling you a little bit about the foundation and of course the powder because i picked up the powder and the foundation and then we're going to go ahead and jump into my demo first impression and how i apply it in side to side comparison with of course the nars uh radiant natural radiant long wear foundation all right, so let's read a little bit about this foundation. This is what the packaging looks like. This is the outside packaging of it. It looks, it says Anastasia, and you are going to mess up my life. This is the one that's causing commotion in the floor. Oh my God. Mira, Mira, mommy has to record a video. Here, grab my, my, my lipstick. No, grab my lipstick, here. This is what the packaging looks like, guys. Um, I'm going to read what it claims that it is the foundation and what it is free of. So the foundation is free, is vegan, gluten-free, alcohol-free, clinically tested, dermatology tested, ophthalmology tested, non-comedogenic, suitable for sensitive skin, long-wearing, and no flashback. So that is all this foundation claims to be. Um... All right, so this is what the foundation looks like. This is the glass bottle. As you see, it says foundation on one side, and then, of course, it has the Anastasia logo on one side. Now we have the NARS foundation here as well. Um, this one is the Natural Radiant Longwear Foundation. And as you can see, um, when you do a side-to-side -side comparison of the foundation, they're both the same. They're both glass bottles with the product you can see the products as well as the lettering in black and the caps are all everything is the same they are both 30 ml um the only thing is that the anastasia foundation ranges for 38 dollars and the nart uh ranges for 49 if i'm not mistaken so the same amount of product for at least 11 dollars more all right so <laughs> now that the baby's gone so they are both um the same size they're both 30, not 30 ml. Um, I am actually using the 33, 335W, 335W on the Anastasia, and I'm using Barcelona on this one. They're very similar in color. So you guys will see that I do a side to side comparison. I'm just gonna tell you a little bit about the Anastasia foundation. You already know it has 50 shades, so I feel like it is a pretty, it, has, it kind of covers a lot of. Um, a lot of colors uh when i did go to my ulta a lot of the colors were missing especially the dark shades i'm not sure what's going on there um but i was able to find this shade it is a little bit darker than my skin tone so i kind of had to tan a little bit this morning to kind of match it but other than that it, it kind of worked great so um it says that it doesn't need to be set because of the luminosity that it has and as well as um, it is great for sensitive skin, so that's awesome. I have very very sensitive skin and I feel like that is a plus for me So let's me let's talk a little bit about the powder. I picked up one of her powders. She has five powders She has um, different shades. She has a vanilla one that I picked out. She has the banana. She has the 
medium, medium deep, I think it is, and translucent, and they range for $36 for the powder. I feel like the powder has a lot, a lot, a lot of product for $36. I feel it's a decent price, to be honest. Um, I don't think I've ever bought a powder this expensive, but it is quite big. Um, look at the... Look at the size of it. It is quite uh, on the large side. It is to be a lightweight, long, uh, lightweight loose powder for setting up makeup. It is vegan, uh, gluten-free, non-comedogenic, dermatologic tester, alcohol-free, and it is a long wearing. So that's pretty cool when it comes to um, powder. Um, I don't think I own one single product of hers that I have not liked or I have not used, or have disliked, or I've had to return, to be honest. I feel like they take their time. Um, they're all their resources. They take a lot in consideration when creating a product. And I feel like they do good every time they launch a product. And I'm all about complexion. I'm the type of person that before a palette, an eyeshadow palette, I'm going to buy complexion products. I'm going to buy primers. I'm going to buy concealers. I'm going to buy foundation. And although she's already um, come out with foundation, this is not new to her line. Um, it is new because it's a liquid foundation. Um, packaging is great. It is a regular foundation. It has a pump. That's awesome. Um, it is, like I said, it is the same as the NARS um, packaging. Um, it's nothing out of this world. Um, it's, it's pretty cool. The foundation there, it just kind of gives it like an extra different feel, different vibe to the foundation, but it is available at Ulta right now and also at online, both, both online, both Anastasia and Ulta. Um, Sephora is actually, they're actually coming in, coming out with it for Sephora. I'm not sure when, uh, but I will list it below if I find it. Um, yeah guys, so, so let's just go ahead and get started with my side comparison. I will be doing a side to side comparison because um, I feel like this is my holy grail foundation and when this one said that it was going to be that glowy, dewy skin look. So when I read it, I was I finally thought of my Radiant con uh, foundation so I was like, I'm going to test it out. So I'm going to give you a side to side comparison of both right here in this video and give you guys my thought either it is the same foundation or if it is not the same foundation. Okay guys, so let's go ahead and start with everything on our face. I'm gonna prep my face like I normally would do. Um, moisturizer, primer, and whatnot, and yada yada yada. So let's go ahead and do that. I'm gonna pull my hair back. Using my primer, just a regular primer, guys. A little bit. All right, so let's go ahead, and what I'm gonna do is I'm going to apply one side. Like I said, we're gonna apply one side. The Anastasia foundation, a couple of drops. So right off the bat, when I put the foundation on my finger, it feels like it's a very, very nice, lightweight consistency to the foundation. So that's always great. We always want something really, really light. It claims to be a medium to full coverage, so. Coverage is nice, guys. Look at the difference between none to yes. It feels wet. I'm gonna tell you that. It feels wet. All right, so this is the Anastasia foundation. It is a it has a beautiful, um, coverage actually like I'm not gonna lie look at on um, my under eyes look at my uh, redness look at my freckles right here I have a little scar here so you can see a little bit but I actually like the coverage it feels a little wet in the skin I do have to say that feels a little wet it has a nice very nice dewy finish too. so let's go ahead and do a side-to-side -side comparison I'm going to be applying a few drops of my NARS this one dries a little bit faster once you apply it I can just feel like it's really dry alright guys so here you have the side-to-side -side comparison 
So I'm going to be looking at myself in the mirror that I have in front of me. So right off the bat, I can see they're both very dewy, glowy foundation. But I feel like the Anastasia has more of a luminous glow to it than the NARS. NARS still has some. You can see that it does have, it does have some luminosity to it. It's kind of dewy. But I feel like the Anastasia kind of looks more on the on the wet side like you can see how like right here you can actually see the difference this has a more of a natural finish of what a foundation like of what dewiness will probably look like to be honest like right here the NARS and then the Anastasia still has like that like glow like this one is more more luminous more in your face this one is more like it looks glowy it looks nice but it looks subtle like it looks like like normal um, I feel like if you're an oily type of person, I feel like this foundation can probably not be your best friend because of the fact that it's super, super, super dewy. Like it is super dewy unless you actually set. The coverage in it is super nice to be honest. Um, I feel like coverage wise, both uh, Anastasia and NARS kind of have the same coverage. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to remove the NARS since we already did a comparison and um, I'm going to do the whole face Anastasia and I'm going to set one side of my face with the powder and the other one I'm not going to set it just to kind of see how um, it lasts during the day. Both of the sides of my face are even now with Anastasia's foundation. Um, I feel like coverage is super, super nice. I'm a full coverage type of girl. And honestly, I do not feel like I need an extra pan, an extra coat of foundation because I feel it's super, 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 super nice. The coverage is super, super, super duper nice. All right, so let's go ahead and move on to the rest of the face, guys. I'm just going to go ahead and fast forward to everything. And once we come into the powder, then I'll give you guys a little more info and my thoughts on the powder. So we're going to go ahead and um, use the powder, this powder right here. So I'm just going to go ahead and I'm going to use the beauty, blah, 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 blah. I'm gonna use the beauty blender and I'm going to go ahead and set under my eyes. It does not feel thick on my eyes, to be honest. Sometimes I apply powder and it feels right off the bat, it feels really, really thick. So I actually like that. It's super, so, super airy. Okay, now what I like to do is I like to use the same powder and kind of set my foundation. So I'm going to use a powder brush and I'm going to set my foundation just on one side of the face because I kind of want to see the difference between setting and not setting the, the foundation. It actually looks really, really, really nice with the powder. I'm going to leave my other side of the face a little dewy and see how that works with um, with bronzer and all that. This powder, it claims to be um, vegan, gluten-free, non-comedogenic, um, dermatologist, alcohol-free, and long-wearing. Um, but it says it's a lightweight, loose powder. I'm going to tell you something. It is very, very lightweight. I cannot feel that I have powder on my face. Like, all right guys, so honestly speaking, my overall thoughts on the foundation, um, it is a great foundation. It is a great foundation. I don't feel like I'm wearing anything on my face. As of right now, I don't feel heavy. It does not feel cakey. Um, it feels beautiful. It has a beautiful finish on my skin. Now, will it replace, it, will it replace my NARS? I'm not sure. Honestly speaking, it is way cheaper than the NARS foundation. So that's a plus. Um, it has a beautiful finish. It feels super lightweight to the skin. Um, as of right now, even the powder, the powder feels super nice. We're going to see if it dries out during the day. I do have dry skin, so we'll see if that works. Um, but if you have oily skin, I feel like the dewiness, the luminosity of this foundation is going to is going to take you to set your foundation. Um, in order for you to work with it. Is it a foundation that is a game changer? Nah, maybe if you're into that dewy, 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 dewy look and you don't like, and you don't mind not setting your foundation. It is a great foundation. It is a great foundation. I don't feel like I'm wearing anything on my face. 
as of right now, I don't feel heavy. It does not feel cakey. Um, it feels beautiful. It has a beautiful finish on my skin. I had it on yesterday for the whole entire day. And honestly speaking, guys, it lasted a long time. It lasted a long time. I applied the makeup, I think it was like 11 o'clock in, uh, in the morning. And I took it off when I got home like around 10 30 11 so more like 12 12 hour and my makeup was still like intact like i really did not want to remove my makeup whatsoever because it was everything was there so that is the reason why i'm not giving you like oh today i had it on for a long time no i'm telling you because i already wore it yesterday for the whole entire day um and it was beautiful. The finish is beautiful. I honestly, honestly have to say it is a great foundation. Um, it is, it is a dupe on, on steroids for the NARS. I don't want to say a dupe because they're both high end, but it's more glowy. It's more luminous and it lasts all day and it feels really, really great. And it's 11 bucks less. So that's, that's a deal breaker for me when it comes to buying the NARS. If I run out of the NARS and I have this one and I'm running out of Anastasia, I think I'm going to go ahead and pick up the Anastasia, to be honest. It is a really, 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 really good, good foundation, guys. Um, Again, if you don't care for that glow, you don't care to have it glowy, you don't care to have it luminous, you don't care to have it very dewy, you're not that type of person and you're oily, then I feel like the Radiant um, Foundation is going to be great for you, even if you like it a little bit. But I feel like this is really great. It gives you like a nice, natural, subtle glow. Rather than this, I'm going to make your face glow. I'm going to make your face dewy. Um, it could replace my NARS just because it has a beautiful glow. It definitely lasts a long time. It feels great to the skin and it's $11 less than the NARS foundation. Like, come on. Hallelujah. I mean, and of course, I feel like, I feel like it's great. It's a great foundation, guys. It is. It is. I'm going to be very honest. It is. It is. <laughs> I don't know what else to say to you guys. <laughs> Anyways, um, I really hope you found this tutorial, uh, demo, first impression, review, side to side comparison, um, video helpful. Kind of help you kind of think if you whether to buy it or not. And if you did, please let me know by giving this video a big thumbs up. And letting me know in the comments what you thought, if you're going to get it. Or what are your thoughts on this foundation? Did you get it? You didn't like it? I like it. Blah, blah, blah. Let's start a conversation in the comment section down below. Anyways, guys, don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you'll be part of my beautiful girlfriend squad here on YouTube. And as usual, don't forget to follow me on Instagram, francis2s.michelle. Thank you so much for your love. Thank you so much for sticking until the end. Muchos besos. I'll see you ladies on my following video. Bye.